Hi everybody, this is Sherry, and I know you guys haven't seen me for a while, and I didn't want you to think that I hadn't been doing anything, because I have, I just haven't had a chance to show it to you. This is my adorable, completely wonderful little great niece, and she just turned three, and she was having a bubble guppy birthday party. So, well, they were going to have a pony party, and then the place that um, they were renting the pony from ended up getting some rescue horses in, which took precedence, of course, and, um, and you know, we completely understood that, but it only gave us two weeks to come up with something else for Elena's party. And I live in Florida, Elena is in Ohio, and the party was in West Virginia. So I did some serious hustling, and I'm going to show you a few things that I made for this precious little thing. These are the Bubble Guppy, let me see if I can hold them up there. Um, these are the labels for the foods, and I try to turn it so you guys can see. Come on, phone, do your thing. Okay, don't do your thing. Um, these were the labels for the food that uh, went on. Everything went into little buckets like sand pails or, uh, that you would take to the beach. And it said bubble bites, beach balls, and goldfish. And the beach balls were... Um, man, I'm getting a lot of glare and I'm really sorry because I really want you guys to see these. Um, the beach balls were um, those little cheese ball thingies and then Swedish fish and peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches and each of those hang, hung on top of I put sticky tape and they were attached to the the pails those were the little labels that I made that went on Elena loves um, jelly beans so I made took plastic bags the kind that would hold pretzels and I made her her own little bags of jelly beans, and then those all all of those characters went on it. Then these were the big fish that I cut out. I know absolutely nothing about bubble guppies, so and please excuse my hands, I've been crafting. So I did that. I saw that picture and I sent it to my niece. So she took streamers and made um, what looked like kelp or seaweed. And then I made that banner. And this is a picture off of my computer. So that's what the glare is. And it says, Happy Third Birthday, Elena. And it's got all the Bubble Guppy characters. And this one was also on my computer. And I printed it out. And I laminated them so they could put them on the three doors into the fellowship hall. And it says, Welcome to Elena's Bubble Guppy Party Adventure. And then I took the labels off of the bubbles and made my own labels with the bubble guppies. And it said, thank you for coming to my party. And I signed what would look like Elena's name. And then this I was so tickled with. I made these covers or these little con things, whoops, these little things right there to go on top of the straws. And there's a line right there so that you could write every kid's name on their drink so that they knew whose was whose. This is the badge I made for Elena and it says, Hi, I'm Elena and I'm three today and that's her favorite bubble guppy. So I did that. Then I got some mini Hershey bars, the, the ones that come like eight in a pack for like a buck fifty. And I covered them with the, her favorite again, and it says Elena is three. Whoops, that was the dress that Mariah and I were looking at for the, um, let me get this out of here, get you back to where I need you to be, for the uh, home, or for the prom. And then this is, those are the fish that I sent up to my niece, and she made fish get ball. So that's one of the games that they had. And let me see what else my niece sent. Oh, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm working on those too. And then there's the um, drink. She got little huggies. And there's all the, the straws in there for the kids. And then there are all the little posters I made. And then the there's the um, jelly beans and the candy bars. And I love how she put some of the fish onto real colorful um, gift bags and then she just filled them with real colorful 
uh, tissue paper to make a centerpiece so I was really tickled with that and then in the center are the um, bubbles okay and I think that's it everything else I can show you but that's what I had been doing but I was in such a hurry to um, get them mailed out and our time was we had such a time crunch that I couldn't um, I didn't get to do a video to show them to you so I'm sorry that's the best I could do with that but I really wanted you to see it and to be honest my niece was going to buy a thing off of Etsy and I was very upset about this I, I you know I maybe I'm wrong I don't know but a lady was selling the um, the pro or a, a PDF file for um, you to print out your own stuff and I told my niece I said well before you buy it I said let me go online and see what I can find for free and the same things that that woman was selling in a PDF file was the stuff that I found for free on the um, Nick Jr. website so I didn't think that was very right but you know that's my opinion and um, I'm going to turn my light back around here so I can show you what else I've been working on. I've been asked to do um, some burlap bags for silverware for a wedding. And so I did three samples. And they weren't sure. They haven't come to pick or they haven't told me which one they've picked yet. But I know that they like these two the best. Now this one I also had... Um, a garment pin and I put their last initial and hooked them both on with a garment pin but I took that off because you know it was essentially the same bag just decorated two different ways and then I did this one with the clothes pin this is just some inexpensive lace seam binding and um, what we used was the six inch roll of burlap that they had on sale at Michael's last week and then I just used a piece of string that I had and tied the bow. Now I used my silverware as a um, trial and if you can see there's a big difference in the length. Well if I cut it 12 inches I can get 20 out of a thing of burlap for the lady if I cut it this length then I'm only going to get about 15 but I don't think that plastic wear is really the same length as our regular silverware so you know depending on what she goes with will determine how many I can make for out of each roll but so I did these three samples and uh, she wanted them real simple I guess they're gone with like an eggplant collar so you know I used what I had to do a sample with and then we're gonna go and get the stuff together but they were really thrilled with this one and this one is 17 inches and this one is 12 so in 15 and 12 sorry 15 and 12 inches so um, I've been working on that I guess I could zoom you out here a little more huh and uh, so those I've been working on see I've not just been sitting here Actually, I'm feel I was so lightheaded and dizzy. I ended up at the doctor's yesterday. My daughter wanted to take me to the hospital. I ain't going to the hospital. And my doctor laughed because he thought it was because I had given up um, caffeine and that that's what was making me so dizzy. But I am guessing that maybe he's not right because I'm still dizzy today and I've had plenty of caffeine. Um, but here's the other things that I'm working on. I, I haven't decided what I'm going to put in them or anything yet or who even I'm going to use them for. But I took a McDonald's um, fry box and used it as my template. And then I cut it out. Now this was single-sided paper and I couldn't stand just looking at this piece right here being white. So I cut out another piece of this flap and then shortened it so, so it only goes about right there on the inside so that you so it looks like it's double sided. I colored uh, this tilde image up with my Copics and then I made this little clip and it's got a heart shaped right there heart shaped ring that hooks the just the little 
charm together and then down here at the bottom it says made with love and so that's the first one I did and I think these are going to fit really nice in those clear cellophane bags so I can make some real nice little treats for someone and that's the first one and then here's the second one and this is Anna Griffith paper or Anna Griffin I can't remember how to say her name and I just used some more lace from my stash like I did with that one colored her up with my Copics and did my best to match the blues and the blues and everything you know I mean I know her jeans are not perfect but I was trying to match the shirt and the flower to what there was here in the lace and now this one is actually a real pale blue on the inside it was double-sided and so that made me happier it's still real light though I don't know and on this one I inked with Calypso no not Calypso coral um, Coastal Cabana excuse me Coastal Cabana ink from Stampin Up and I just inked all the way around it and on the bottom and um, and that's it for this one so I have been doing stuff I just haven't been posting any videos because I haven't had a chance um, I hope you like these let me know what you think I'm gonna try to take this to my church and take my pattern and shrink it by about a third because I think I have to do when my sister saw what I did for my great niece her daughter's pregnant so now she wants me to do her daughter's baby shower the decorations and it's a train and I thought I could make some train print out my own train paper make these smaller and then put some little goodies in them for party favors um, for my sisters or for my nieces so I'll have another oh it'll be a great nephew because he's it's a little boy so I'll be doing my great nephew's baby shower well my niece's baby shower for my great nephew let me put it that way <laughs> and so I've already been working on with my gypsy and my cricket and stuff some of the train things that I'll be using for that so I have been doing stuff just haven't been posting but I have missed you guys and you know wanted to ask you to continue to pray because these dizzy spells are like really stinking I can't focus and and it took me three days to just I did her face one day and then her hair one day and then last night was able to color her outfit and everything because I couldn't focus on it so I don't know what's going on and if it keeps up I'm gonna I told my doctor he made me promise that if the because I had went cold turkey without caffeine so he thought that that's what it was so he told me made me promise that if it wasn't I would call back today and I'm trying to give it a little time, drink some caffeine and stuff, but I'm still feeling dizzy and lightheaded, so. Oh, well, God takes care of us. He's taking, what's it say? He takes care of children and crazy people, and since I'm not a kid, I guess I'm the crazy people he takes care of. Thank goodness for my God, he loves me. All right, guys, thanks for visiting me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, I'm sorry about the lousy pictures I had to show you, but I really wanted to show you that. I was so tickled with the bubble guppies because I didn't even know what they were. So let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment below if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.